वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क इन गेट टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट द क्वेश्चन रीड्स कंसिडर अ न्यू इंस्ट्रक्शन नेम्ड ब्रांच ऑन बिट सेट नेमोनिक्स बी बी एस द इंस्ट्रक्शन बी बी एस रजिस्टर पोजिशन लेबल जम्प्स टू लेबल इफ बिट इन पोजिशन पोज ऑफ रजिस्टर ऑपरेंट रजिस्टर इज वन अ रजिस्टर इज थर्टी टू बिट्स वाइड and the bits are numbered from 0 to 31 bit position 0 being the least significant okay so what you are given is there is a instruction bbs and it is register position label now whatever register you have specified here for example the register you have specified is r not r not is going to be 32 bits wide 0231 and whatever bit position that you have specified in the second operand if that position is set that bit bit at that position is high or one then you are going to jump on to this label okay for example this is 7 now in this register r not if the seventh bit say this one is the seventh bit if it is high or one then you are going to jump to this label okay in case this is zero for example this one is the seventh bit in case it is zero like here it's zero you are not going to jump so this is a conditional jump instruction okay had it been one you are going to jump so what are they asking consider the following emulation of this instruction on a processor that does not have bbs implemented and then they have given this code to implement this instruction bbs and the variable temp is a temporary register for correct emulation the variable mask must be generated by okay so we are required to find what is this variable mask how are we generating this variable and these two lines are trying to emulate this instruction bbs on a processor that does not have this instruction in its instruction set what does it mean the hardware does not provide any support for implementing this instruction still we want the result of executing these two lines will be very similar to executing this instruction okay so one thing that you need to know is how do we check if the seventh bit or any bit for that matter is zero or one in some register let's see that i'm sure most of you know that but still i'll do it once let's take a 8 bit register to understand this for example say this is the value contained in a 8 bit register now we are required to find if the fourth bit is set or not that means if the fourth bit is 1 or 0 okay for this purpose we need to and this register's value with a number which contains 1 only at fourth bit that means all other bits of these number are 0 this number whenever ended with any other number will result a zero in these positions obviously because what is and and means if both the operands are one only in that case we are going to give a one as output but here these three are zeros and these four are zeros 
that means in the result all these bits will be zero irrespective of whatever is contained in the number in this number or the register now just focus on this bit here we have one so the result depends only on this number this one this is one so we are going to output one had this bit been zero like this had this bit been zero will output a zero because one and zero is zero okay now our purpose was to find if this specific bit bit number four is zero or one what are we doing here is we are ending this number with this number this one which is a number where only fourth bit is high and say we are getting this as output now if your result is non-zero you say that bit was set because having a one as any bit in this number means this one is going to be a non-zero now had the result been zero like this the entire number is going to be non-zero because no bit is going to be high obviously the only bit that can be set or high or one is this one okay so if this bit is zero the entire number is going to be non-zero that means whenever your number is non-zero that bit was high if your number is zero that bit was zero okay now let's see this question so this is the register from where we need to check if this bit bit at position pos is set or not so say our register contains a value contains some value okay so this is the register whatever it contains we are ending it with mask that's the question what is mask now you obviously know mask is going to be all zeros which is 32 zeros except for the position pause okay that means if we need to check this bit then we are going to have a one here if we need to check this bit then we are going to have a one here okay now and second instruction in the translation of this bbs is branch to label if temp is non-zero yeah that seems legit because we are branching or we are jumping to label if this result this result is non-zero that means the bit that we are trying to check was one yeah this bit was one then we jump had this number this one result being zero all zeros that surely means this bit was also zero okay so then we are not jumping which is branch to label if temp is non-zero when temp is zero we don't branch now in this four options if you see option number two this is wrong because what we are doing we are having all ones 32 ones actually this is a hexadecimal number and we are having all ones then we are trying to right shift it by position position is this pos say this one was seven we are trying to right shift it by seven bits still it won't be in this form okay because we need exactly one bit that is high this one or whatever bit number we need to check this one is not going to result in that kind of number c part is obviously wrong we are trying to save a number which goes from 0 to 31 into the mask but mask can only have one bit high okay so this one is not going to work because in case you are trying uh, you are trying to check the last bit if it is high or not then 
you are going to save 31 in this mask according to option C. And 31 means all bits are high. That's not gonna work. Okay, option D, it is also wrong because it's all ones. The case we have just discussed. Hexadecimal F means all ones. Okay. Remaining is this, this option A. This one is the answer because what we are doing here is we have hexadecimal 1 and we are shifting it by pose number of bits. What's happening is we have 1 in hexadecimal. So there are 31 zeros followed by a 1. That means its value in decimal is also 1. Then we are trying to left shift it by pose number of bits. Left shift by pose. In our example, we assumed position or pose to be 7. So you can say we are trying to left shift it by 7. That means you shift this one 7 times. Okay. It will come somewhere here. That means the number is going to be this. Okay. Now you see by doing this left shift seven times we have got a desired mask. How? Because in this mask now only seventh bit is high. Had this position been 30 or 25 or anything for that matter, we would have shifted it those many number of times. Then this one would still be on the correct position. So that means our mask has to be generated in this manner. Okay. By shifting this number, these many bits. Okay. So our answer is A part.